Minnesota United unchanged after their 2-2 draw a week ago on the Wasatch front against Real Salt Lake. Gio Savarisi telling us this week that Santi Moreno on that right-hand side has been electric, dynamic in his 1v1 abilities, using his pace to get forward. That is the only man for Portland who has scored since May 6th, Frank Bully. Your contract on a free will be a designated player, a 33-year-old could be in the lineup next weekend against Austin here at home. What a save, Ivacic. Slovenian stonewall. Some of those crosses inside the box. What a brilliant save by the end by Ivacic here, but Mender does well because he's kind of already made. Here's Taylor. Not by Moreno. Turns it loose. Long one A back for Dotson. Ivacic. Wasn't in place for the rebound and Mender Garcia. Minnesota United, again, they've created the chances. That's a nice attempt by Hassani Dotson, curling it with the inside of the right boot as it finds a Mender Garcia, tries to head it back to the far post. And you can see, well done by Fungwane because he just lays it off with the right pace for Hassani Dotson to hit that one time and keep it on frame. But Ivicic once again coming up with a big time save. Only one to score that's on the field since the beginning of May. He's got four in his last nine. Got upended there. Dutson starts the break. Reynoso. It's Mender Garcia. Longwane. Garcia! It's going to go! On target for the first time in three months. The Colombian... And it's, to me, it's about the buildup. It's about creating the opportunity. Reynoso finds Mender Garcia, who just spins him around and finds Longwane. And I'm thinking, you got to take that shot because the traffic is coming back. There's players coming back. He tries to find the ball to the back post. He actually is trying to find Sang Bin there. Mender Garcia steps in front. Looks like it might have gone off of Diego Terra to be tallied as an own goal at the end of the day. But to me, it's about the buildup. It's creating the opportunities because Mender Garcia a 2-0 lead last weekend at Salt Lake. Driven in! Ivacic couldn't keep it out! Olympico? Close enough. Reynoso gives reason to believe the Minnesota attack's gonna rise again. 2-0. Ivacic gets a hand on it, but it looks like it's nearly... All the way across the line. I think it's the runners in front. Nobody's covering the near post from a Portland Timbers perspective. Even Chich isn't tight on it. You see Mender Garcia and Song Bin, Longwane, all right. A designated player number 10 like that. And he said exactly that. He's just so naturally gifted. It comes so easy to him that even at 75%. Longwane! Eva Chich. That takes a high bounce, and how about Longwane just bringing it down, taking the half volley off the short hop with the left boot. Former Oregon State man, Sonny Dotson. Starting to shine at the bubble. Longwane Ivacic from the seat of his pants on the oncoming run from Dotson. Steer it away. Look at the options in the box, though. In his first shot, from Longwane, even just does what he can, but there's a late arriving run. Look at on the penalty. Zara. Nathan. Bully. They're back in it. Fifth goal in 10 games for the Ivorian, Frank Bully. And the Timbers. They've cut the deficit in half. Can get the job done regardless of who's available. They make a substitution. What a nice first touch there to find Brink Bully just on the wrong side. As Eric Valentina pushed on a little bit, Mickey Tapes is the one sliding all the way over to step to Frank Bully. He's the left center back. That tells you a little bit about the positioning with the ball lost. Rhythm conversation of the game in the second half. Choppy the last 60 seconds or so. A full sprint. Bongwane. Bongi! The Bafana Bafana man is a Timbers terror.
3-1. This is about as good of a breakout as you're going to get on a transition. Diego Chara is sprinting, but Longwane does well to take that first header, to create the space and the opportunity to finish. He sees Ivicic coming off his line. He's got Renoso on the back post. Look at him eyeing that back post all the way. He knows exactly where he wants to go, right through the legs of Ivicic. Longwane. Now Dotson. Longwane. A tap in. For Emmanuel Reynoso. Initially, Diego Chara is holding his arm up. He wants an offside here on Longwane, but he's not in an offside position. It's Eric Miller who keeps him on. The rest of the back line had stepped. Eric Miller drops just enough right on top of the six. Longwane in an onside position, serves it back across the box, trickles right through, and as you stated, rightly so, a tap in for Manny Reynoso in his second of the night. Firing. He's finally hit the age of 30, but he was the oldest 23 year old you'll ever meet in the pro game. Iwe! Oh, he steered around and missed his chance. And in front of the back line, look at this. Perfectly weighted pass to find him in stride. No tracking at all defensively. Ivicic well off his line, just trying to make himself. Nathan. Nice little run through. There's the final whistle. And the Legion of Loons.